there's a growing backlash against the Chancellor's budget that it didn't do enough to help pensioners. Pensioner fury boiled over after new analysis showed they will be just £20 better off this year after their triple lock increase was all but wiped out in the budget. The Resolution Foundation said Jeremy Hunt's six year freeze in income tax thresholds will cost retirees dearly. It said an 8.5% rise in the state pension will leave OAP's £190 better off in the next tax year after adjusting for higher prices. But this will be offset by the freeze in income tax thresholds, which will cost pensioners £170, meaning they stand to gain just £20 overall. By contrast the think tank said a parent earning £60,000 was in line for a net tax cut of £900 because of reductions in national insurance, NE. Mr Hunt's decision to raise the income level at which people are asked to start paying back child benefit to £60,000 will also boost their earnings by £1,300. Meanwhile, Working parents of two-year-olds will start to benefit from 15 hours a week of free child care from April. The Resolution Foundation has previously highlighted that 8 million pensioners are facing a £1,000 hit from Mr Hunt's stealth tax raid, amid a growing backlash over the Chancellor's budget. It said, a basic rate tax paying pensioner will essentially see their above inflation state pension rise wiped by this April's personal allowance freeze. The triple lock on state pensions ensures payments rise in line with the highest out of inflation, average wage growth or 2.5% each April. This year the full state pension will rise by £17.35 per week from £203.85 to £221.20, in line with earnings, an increase of 8.5%. Rishi Sunak has insisted pensioners will get the triple lock for the rest of the decade under Tory rule while Sir Keir Starmer has refused to confirm if it will remain under Labour. But the foundation says the elderly and higher earners are set to be the biggest losers by the end of this parliament because pensioners do not benefit from recent knee cuts. Dennis Reed, director of over 60s campaign group Silver Voices said, the Resolution Foundation has correctly emphasized that the recent budget actually penalized millions of pensioners on basic rate tax by wiping out their cost of living increase through this pernicious and sneaky personal allowances freeze. We are calling on politicians to promise to lift the freeze on tax allowances on day one after the general election, that would be a real boost for struggling pensioners and low-paid workers. This research also shows the folly of concentrating the fiscal strategy on slashing national insurance rather than tax. The triple lock was introduced in 2011 by the coalition and has been applied every year except 2022-23 due to the pandemic. The Daily Express has tirelessly fought to ensure the lock, which means the state pension rises to the highest of 2.5%, wages rises or inflation, remains in place. Caroline Abrahams, charity director at Age UK said, This is disappointing especially for all those for whom the state pension is their main or only source of income, making getting by a continuing daily struggle. The triple lock is crucial in giving older people confidence that the state pension will not lose value over time, but this analysis is a timely reminder that it isn't enough on its own to ensure a decent standard of living.